about your first North American tour. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, um, so what is a memorable moment from the tour? Uh, I mean, every moment was uh, memorable, and uh, especially when I was in the stage, on the stage, uh, I met really energetic fans and people in every city. So I'm really impressed that their energy is just insane, amazing. So yeah, it's been a four years when I uh, since since I released the way back home, and uh, it's been a long time after that. So first of all, I'm I was so surprised there was so many fans in the concert hall, and uh, yeah, they really touched my heart and. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. While you were on tour, did you get to try anything new? Mm, actually, the schedule was so tight, uh, so yeah, I didn't have a uh, much time for uh, touring oh. the all the city. But uh, every city was beautiful. Actually, LA is a little bit familiar to me because I have visited this city uh, maybe two years ago so mm -hmm. yeah um san francisco was really amazing i think it was really wonderful and beautiful uh, so canada vancouver toronto and uh, montreal montreal was insane they got energy mm -hmm. yeah and uh also dallas new york city new city was uh a uh, little bit different with other shows. I mean, I played as a DJ in New York City. So yeah, I really enjoyed that night, that show. And uh, yeah, I love the every show where I played. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess like a side question to that, like was there like a food that you, new food you tried? Like I'm sure like all the different cities is like completely different food from Korea. Yeah. So When I was in this city, LA, first time, two years ago, uh, I didn't have a chance for a taste some cilantro. Cilantro? <laughs> yeah. Oh. But uh, the time I tried taco. Mm. Yeah, I've been in some nice taco place and uh, I tried the cilantro and uh, that was amazing, you know. <laughs> so yeah, from then, Mexican food was my favorite. So yeah. I'm pretty sure like before your show, sometimes you get a little nervous. Or there's like a lot of energy going on. Mm -hmm. Do you have any like pre-concert or um, performance rituals? Oh yeah, I pray all the time. It's just before the, right before the stage uh, I'm I'm just reminding myself I'm so happy and the situation is so funny and uh, I'm so happy person and I'm so ready to uh, make them crazy yeah that's all <laughs> well whatever it is you're doing keep on doing it because um, you're doing amazing so yeah Thank you. Um, so ahead of the tour you released your collaboration steal the show with Jeff um, Sauter so how did this amazing collaboration come about? Uh, that track, that song, Still the Show, was written mm, when I was in LA two years ago. And I had a song camp in that season, so yeah. Um, I got a little bit worried just right after I made that track. Uh, the style was way different with my previous style of mine so yeah uh, and one day one of my staff uh, said to me how about release that track as a collaborate track so yeah we've research uh, we've been searching uh, many artists and uh, I we just found out there is a Jeff Sutter that he was really talented and handsome and got really uh, mm, nice voice. So mm -hmm. that voice was really fit to sell the show. That's right. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we. That, so yeah, that was the start, and uh, 
we've been in Thailand for a music video. I met him and uh, he was really nice and cute and uh, well, I'm smart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a great time in, in Thailand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely a nice track. It's one of my favorites, personally. Okay. I like the the rock sound to it. It has a bit yeah. of like a rock and roll sound. And I know, I know that you really like rock as well. Yeah, I'm so, a big fan yeah. of rock music. Yeah. I know that um, alongside Jeff, you also work with Yuna, um, Crash Adams now recently, um, Advanced, mm -hmm. uh, Longstein. Um, are there like some other artists you would love to work with in the future? Studio에서 같이 호흡하면서 작업할 수 있는 뮤지션이랑 같이 작업하는 것이 제일 재밌다고 생각을 하고 있어요. 왜냐하면은 A&R이나 뭔가 스태프랑 같이 호흡을 메일링하고 그런 식으로 그쪽이 원하는 대로 작업을 하는 거는 제가 그냥 작곡가로서 일하는 것밖에 안 되니까 아티스트 아티스트로서 같이 의견을 공유하고 그쪽이 뭘 좋아하는지 내가 뭘 좋아하는지 서로 그 중간점에서 만나서 그 사람의 장점과 내 장점을 다 살릴 수 있는 방향으로 작업을 하는 게제 이상적인 콜라보레이션의 방향이라고 생각하기 때문에 그렇게 작업을 할수 있는 뮤지션과 함께 작업을 하고 싶습니다. 만약 콜라보레이션을 하는데 내가 그 사람을 한 번도 만난 적이 없고 그 사람에 대해서 아는, 저, 아는 것이 없고 하는데 그 사람과 나의 목소리가 합쳐져가지고 트랙이 발매된다 하면 은 저한테는 별로 의미가 없는 콜라보레이션일 것 같아요. 그래서 만드는 단계에서부터 같이 호흡하면서 음악을 만드는 게더 재미있을 것 같아서 그렇게 말씀드렸습니다. More on that note, what are like your main sources of inspiration when it comes to creating music? Mm, everything, from everything. I got inspiration from uh, especially uh, something feel brand new. I haven't uh, said that before. Something like a mm, new place or new clothes, new hotel, new car. Yeah, that's all. Uh, 저를 둘러싼 모든 것들이 다 영감이 되는 것 같아요. 어쨌건 제가 어떻게 표현하는 것이 어떻게 표현하고 뭘 어떻게 만드느냐가 되게 중요하기 때문에 제가 새롭게 무언가를 받아들이는 것들이 다 영감이 되는 것 같습니다. This North American tour was really big inspiration for me. Yeah. I got amazing energy from them, so yeah, I can make some new stuff in my next career. <laughs> we're, looking, we're definitely looking forward to it, yeah. Um, but you're talented at so many things from singing, producing, DJing, DJing um, performing. Um, but is there something that you would like to learn? Oh yeah, then there is, there is lots of things I want to learn. It's like uh, English, how to speak English fluently. Yeah, <laughs> I keep learning. And uh, I keep trying my best, and uh, it's still difficult to me. And uh, yeah, it's way better than uh, when I was in LA first time two years ago. And uh, I can try learning. And I try to learn some boxing these days. Yeah, it's good. It's pretty fun for me. So it's way different in my job. Mm. Yeah, I never been. Uh, I never tried some fighting sports before. So yeah, there was a big event for me. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was pretty fun. I'm learning right now. You know? mm -hmm. And <laughs> best thing is uh, when I training. Uh, when I train as a beginner or boxer. Uh, yeah, I have no pressure in that time because I'm a actually I'm a beginner so yeah there is a uh, there is that's a way different when I making some music and singing on the stage on the stage um, in music I have to show them something special because I'm professional uh, musician, I mean, yeah, so I have no pressure when I'm learning something new. So I know that you've been, you know, like doing music for like 
over a decade at this point. Um, do you remember your first DJ set? Like, what songs did you use? Oh, and... that was pretty terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost over 10 years. Um, yeah, when I was 21 years old, I visited some club called Myeongwalban in Hyundai. And uh, at that time, I was in the band, so I didn't uh, play as a DJ in that time, but I had an uh, experience for the first time, the house music in that place. So, yeah, I have a chance for, I had a chance for audition in that club, and I tried it before the open day. Club, I, tr I played for one hour set. That was pretty messed. <laughs> <laughs> After I played horror set list, the owner said to me, "Hey, you have to say something. 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 You 음악을 트는 거는 어디로 여행을 보내려는지 잘 모르겠다 라고 말을 하셨더라고요 근데 그게 지금까지도 굉장히 크게 남아 있어요 제가 음악을 만들고 공연을 만들고 디자인을 할 때도 무언가 사람들이 들으면서 자연스럽게 그 음악을 들으면서 여행을 하는 기분을 느낄 수 있게끔 만드는 거를 굉장히 중요하게 생각하면서 짜임새의 중요성을 좀 깨달을 수 있었던 계기였던 것 같아요 뭐 셋은 당연히 뭐 말씀드렸다시피 최악이었습니다. I wish I could have seen it still, anyways. Uh, I was young. I was young. I was young. And now I'm not. <laughs> what, what advice would you give to aspiring musicians? 집에서만 작업하고 음악하고 혼자 갇혀 있지 말고 나와서 사람들을 만나고 같이 일을 하고 같이 뭔가. 무브먼트를 만들어 나가라고 조언을 해줘요. 저 같은 경우에는 그거를 제가 그거를 잘했다면은 훨씬 더 빨리 어, 뭐 많은 사람들에게 제 음악을 들려줄 수 있을 것 같아요. 저는 너무 오랫동안 혼자 일을 해왔고 어, 다른 사람들은 그렇게 혼자서 너무 오랜 시간 동안 갇혀서 음악을 하지 않았으면 좋겠다는 생각을 하고 있어요. 근데 이미 많은 사람들이 자기의 크루를 가지고 음악을 만들고 하고 있고. 한 사람이 할수 있는 일에 안 정해져 있다 보니까 매우 많은 시간이 들어요. 그래서 제가 너무 늦게 솔로 앨범을 내냈다는 그런 생각도 들고요. 그래서 음, 많은 사람들을 만나고 많은 비즈니스를 하고 자기의 음악들을 많은 사람들에게 들려주기 위해서 음, 노력하면 좋은 결과가 있지 않을까. 뭐그 전에 좋은 작품들을 만들어야 되죠. I know that you met a lot of your fans on your own tour, you got to perform for them. Is there a message you want to send to your fans? 첫 번째로 항상 기다려 주시고 음악 기대해 주셔서 감사드리고요. 보내 주시는 사람 덕분에 지금까지 열심히 음악 만들어서 들려 드릴 수 있었다고 생각을 합니다. 음. 생각지도 못했던 기대하지도 않고 있었던 뭐큰 호응과 사랑을 이번 투어에서 보내주셔서 너무 감사드리고요. 그리고 음, 앞으로도 제가 만든 노래들 많이 기대 부탁드리고 활동 많이 지켜봐주셨으면 좋겠습니다. 다음 달에 발매될 새로운 싱글도 많이 기대 부탁드리고요. 그리고 얼마 전에 공개된 표시 아담스와의 콜라보 리믹스를 많이 들어주세요. 그리고 조만간에 웨이베콤의 컨트리 버전도 공개가 될 예정이니까요. <laughs> um, so you have new music coming. Yeah. Um, we're excited to hear about that. Um, I guess is there anything that you would just like to share that we didn't talk about? Like anything that you would just wanna? I'm working on my merchandise these days. So yeah, you can get that. Maybe I think next month. Yeah, I hope so. Two, let's say two months. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, two months. <laughs> Give me some time. Give me some time. I just finished my English tour, so yeah. Uh, yeah, there will be phone case and uh, t-shirts. So yeah, just 
Please make me rich. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yeah, well, awesome. Um, we're looking forward to your new music, mm -hmm. your new merch, and yeah, thank you so much for talking to me about your music mm -hmm. and your tour. Um, we're really looking forward to your next move. Thank, thank you. you so much, Sean. Thanks for having me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and press like and set the alarm. And uh, also, you can find me on Instagram and TikTok. Sean Dahlman.